And hey, well, this is Francisco from Wondershare Dr. Phone, and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Wondershare Dr. Phone. And in the last video, we actually discussed how to back up WhatsApp data for iOS devices. So today, we are actually going to let you know how to back up WhatsApp data for Android devices instead. So let's go ahead and get down to business. Let's start today's video tutorial, and let's dive right in. Talking about backup methods for Android devices, there are going to be three different ways that you can do this. So method number one, for example, is how we're going to be starting. And that is going to be the one-click solution to backup WhatsApp from Android to PC. And if you want to be 100% sure that your WhatsApp messages are backed up and safe from deletion, then using Google Drive for backups might not actually work out as well. They'll get deleted after one year without being updated. So that is a risk that you do run when you're messing around with that particular option. And the encryption algorithms don't really apply when storing them on a computer system like this one, for instance. They have their own share of security risk. So this means that there's no way of really ensuring permanent storage or even security through time. But there is going to be one solution that you may or may not have heard of, and that's going to be through Dr. Phone. So first things first, go onto the Play Store and install Dr. Phone, and then open up Dr. Phone from the dashboard and select WhatsApp transfer, and then select WhatsApp in the next window. That connect an Android device to your laptop or PC, and then once that device is recognized, and the backup WhatsApp messages button is going to appear, and then you can go ahead and click on that. All of your WhatsApp messages will get backed up instantly from there. Method number two is going to be how to export Android WhatsApp chat to PC for backup. And if you're an Android user looking to backup WhatsApp messages without any kind of hassle, short Dr. Phone a data recovery for Android. The app is going to be part of the popular toolkit by the same name that helps recover deleted or lost data on your devices while scanning through all existing files for restoration purposes. The program is actually designed for both Mac and Windows PC, so do not fret. The user-friendly solution and ensures that you will not face any kind of trouble using it on your Android device. So furthermore, with the ability to recover a deleted WhatsApp messages in case of data loss, this tool may be just exactly what you're looking for. Now let's go ahead and talk about how it helps in recovering unexpected data loss. And so here are going to be the steps for instance. So first off, just go ahead and launch the Dr. Phone Toolkit on your system, and then finally go ahead and select data recovery from its menu. And then afterwards, connect your Android device to your PC, and allow the app to detect it from there. To recover WhatsApp messages and attachments from your lost or damaged phone, for instance, go ahead and select Recover Phone Data in the left panel, and then select the WhatsApp messages and attachments button from there. And then once done, determining what kind of information is desired is going to come right up. And once you're done choosing what you want, go ahead and click on Next. And then here you can actually choose between recovering all data types on this app or just getting the deleted parts only. Now, so keep your device connected and to the system until the process is finally completed. The application will be scanning for the data, so just wait patiently. After the scan is finally complete, all of the data recovered will appear in different categories. So on the left panel, uh, go ahead and click here in order to preview all your extracted WhatsApp messages and attachments from there. And you can just select ones that you want and then click on recover to computer for a complete copy. And the selected data will be saved on your computer, so later down the line to avoid any kind of loss. You can simply just log in to view or move it to other devices if need be, so that is going to be entirely up to you from there. So method number three is going to be to back up and restore WhatsApp on Android with Google Drive. So if you have an Android device, there's going to be a way to back up and restore WhatsApp messages or conversations through the Google Drive. Now you can now just go ahead and back up WhatsApp messages and restore them on any device with a simple click. However, it can save only the recent ones. It's easy to use, save for storage in the cloud or local device, of course. All that you need to do is going to be the following. So I'm going to walk you right through it. Now you can start by opening WhatsApp on your phone and then go to its settings, chat, and then chat backup. And go ahead and tap on backup to make a quick and immediate backup for your WhatsApp chats. And then just go ahead 
and choose and choose between the various frequency settings for an automatic backup and adjust other critical parameters as well. So WhatsApp backups are done automatically from here. So there's no need to worry about losing your messages because this is going to be done on its own for you. So the process of restoring WhatsApp backup from Google Drive is going to be quite simple actually. All that you should do is simply set up a new account on your device and then uninstall the app before installing it again with the same user ID or simply use another one for this task if available. So restoring your Google Drive backup is going to be super easy. I just select the option restore from last session and then just wait for it to finish processing and then click on restore and wait until the data is finally recovered onto your device. And finally for method number four, backup WhatsApp and messages automatically with local backups. So you can also access your WhatsApp chat backup on the local storage since it automatically backs up every day. You'll just have no problem downloading and restoring these chats if something does happen to take place on the Google Drive, for example. The data remains stored for about a week and the data will be saved on both on both Google Drive as well as your local storage if necessary. So first things first, I just go ahead and launch the file manager slash explorer on your phone to access your backed up files. Open up the internal storage, WhatsApp, databases, or a C card, depending on where you have it saved, and then click on WhatsApp databases. And then you can access the backup file. And so from here, you can just copy the file and paste it on any other device that you want and it's pretty much going to be just as simple as that the backup file needs to be renamed and the date section removed after installing whatsapp on your device start up the app and follow these steps in order to restore data from a recent backup file simply tap on restore when prompted for one when prompted for one in order to get everything back and that's going to be pretty much it you have backed up your data successfully from there and now you finally know pretty much every method or at least some of the easiest methods out there had to back up your WhatsApp messages that should meet all of your requirements. And to have a trouble-free experience, you can simply go ahead and try Dr. Phone Toolkit. Now, furthermore, you can share this video with your friends and family as well in order to teach them how to back up WhatsApp messages from here. And to see more videos just like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell in order to stay notified every time that we upload. Not to mention that, yeah, that leaving a like and commenting down below also helps us out quite a bit. So with that said, this has been Francisco from Wonders for Dr. Phone. Thank you for watching and until next time, have a good one.